Hello again. Now you may have seen in my last video that I made a, a cardboard horn for my homemade gramophone. This was based on some plans I found on the internet on the Instructables. But they actually originally came from uh, robives.com. Now what I've done is I've actually scaled up the, uh, the plans so that each part of the horn, and there are eight parts, is printed on one sheet of A4. And I'm going to mix the colours, um, alternate yellow, blue, to make a multicoloured horn, much like the uh, smaller ones which are actually um, shown um, on the Instructables. So uh, this will make a bigger horn than the one that I made last time, which should hopefully work a bit better. Now I didn't quite get it right, I've missed a little bit off the end then when I printed it out. I forgot about the fact that it doesn't print right to the edge of the paper. But uh, I still think it's going to work just fine. So anyway, I'm going to get on and build this horn now and uh, we'll see how well it works. thought it was just worth showing the pieces cut out with the scoring done. So I've got uh, eight of these. So they're scored so that they uh, fold out in the, the horn shape, but the tabs actually fold the other way. So it's um, not hard to do, but it does take a while to actually um, cut them out and score them. Right, well it's done now. It took a while, but um, I've got it all together. I took my time, so it's quite neat. I used uh, some prick to stick it together. I did try other glues like uh, Yoohoo and this power glue uh, that I get from Lidl. Um, but they took longer to dry, so prick was actually the uh, thing to use. Um, I've built an adapter onto the end of it, the um, whole obviously was bigger because I'd scaled the whole thing up but the little adapter just made out of some scrap paper is designed to take um, a piece of 15mm copper piping which is the uh, type of piping that I've got um, on the homemade gramophone at the minute so there's a curved piece of piping so this should just fit neatly onto it okay so now time to go and try it Okay, so it looks like the maximum volume was 63 decibels, which I think was the same as the smaller cone. So, not really any improvement, unfortunately. Um, anyway, uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and if you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe to Mr. RG Stuff.